Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure in Factorio. So, yes, this is the Factorio New World series that I'm doing, and hopefully you'll enjoy this. So, I had a tip. <laughs> of course, I didn't write down the name of the person. I commented on episode 3, I believe, so definitely check that out. I'll put a link to that episode, so that way we can read the comment, and maybe in the next episode I'll recognize that person properly. Um, I'll actually get the name, but he said that you know, he or she, or they, <laughs> said that you can grab these bricks and use a plus and minus to increase... Oh, okay, maybe not. Uh, numpad plus and minus. I thought I did do numpad, but maybe... If I do, maybe my options, because I changed the controls, right? So, see, I changed the zoom in and out to be the, the, the pad plus and minus. So that broke right here. Larger train building area, smaller train. So that broke that. So, to fix that, we need to change our zoom in and zoom out keys. And I think we'll change it to be that again. Okay. So once we go back... Let us give that a shot. So now if I go minus, ah, look at this. We can create one block. Oh, look at that. That is amazing. Thank you. Thank you for giving me that. That, uh, <laughs> that tip. That is so cool. Huh. See? Oh, look at that. That's so neat how that works like that. That is so cool. Cool. So we can actually get quite creative with this stuff, which is kind of neat. Okay, well, so what were we doing? We were working on iron, because this iron is going to run out at some point. We have bullet research to do, or not bullet research, we have to do more. Uh, we have more research to tackle, and we're going to do all the red research, basically. So I think we should do bullet shooting speed 2, maybe, because it's still the red packs. Oh, that's 100 of them. Hmm. Let's do this. Well, this is for heavy armor, so let's do the bullet shooting speed instead, since we got a lot of that, and maybe what we can do is we can build another lab, so we need more iron. <laughs> and I think this is why I was processing or getting to do the iron, because we need that. So let's see here. We okay, got more bricks being made. And, oh, that's right, we were going to put the uh, this thing like that, probably. It's another chest. We need two arms. Let's build a couple more labs, maybe. Let's build five arms. Arms, I like to call them arms, and I don't know why. <laughs> so this one, we can do this. This one can actually be unrestricted. Then we need power poles again. Um, probably just like down the side. Let's place a light. There we go. Okay, now this will produce walls. Okay, and that will only produce two. Okay, there we go. That's what we want. We want this to occur. Okay, there we go. So it takes five bricks to make one. Okay, that's interesting. So let's put a hundred there. Let's throw those there. Okay, and so this hopefully... Yeah, we'll see how this keeps up, basically. <clears throat> and when this backs up, then this will back up. Once this is all backed up, then yeah, this will back up. So there's kind of like a buffer system in place in between each step. It's kind of a new idea I'm going to toy with. Uh, someone might have already done it and posted on the Factorio forums. No clue, because I just don't have time to read that stuff. Don't have time to go through all that. I just, for, aside from work, the family, and just everything else that I have in my life, unfortunately, yeah, I just can't. So, that said, I'm just kind of making sure that these turrets have the ammo. Um, let's build some more turrets here. I probably need more iron, yeah, look at that. Oh no, actually more copper, more copper. We need to check the fuel in here, we need to grab more fuel. What happened to all that coal I had or earlier? Mm. 
This should be all coal, which it is. Okay, now I think we can turn this around and we can start filling this up properly. Perfect. Auto save, excellent. So let's run up here. So because of the instability of Factorio sometimes, what I've done is you know, I have the auto save turned on a decent interval. And so because of that, so if the game crashes, I can kind of reload from the start and redo the whole thing. You're not from the actual auto save, but from the start. Or depending on where, because I think the footage is still good from where it crashes from. So I think with that in mind, you know, I, I'm able to kind of stop recording, uh, cut the footage, you know, recover from the crash and either load up the autosave and keep going. If it's a complete crash and all the footage is gone, then it's a different story, right? So this is more stone, I think. Yeah, we're going to want a miner to harvest this out. Uh, can we make any? Do I have any more, more iron? So we're going to run down over here to the new area. <laughs> this is where we're going to build. So I was thinking of either one or two belts for this stuff. Where's my belts? Looks like I need to craft belts, which means I can only craft three, which means I have to run back this way. To run the boring trip back. Let's see here. There we go. Um, I do have that. Actually, I do have. Okay. How much do we have in here? We have a lot. So, control left click. So it takes all of it, and we're going to put this stuff here. Because I think what we're going to do is we're going to build another box and actually mine this stuff out. Yeah, I think so. And then we're going to transplant that stuff over into this box here, so that way it can get used up for our walls. Let's place these, these guys while we're back over here again. We'll let the iron build up. So we need more of these guys. So where do we want to put... Maybe put these over here. Maybe like this. Ah, but then they, the arms. Okay, so we need to maybe do it like this. We don't need this one. Okay, and I think that one we can do like that. Yeah, yeah, everything will be broken for a moment. Okay, and I think we can stick them in between kind of like this for now and then we'll stick the two arms like so, so that way we have uh, it's not quite together actually let's pick this up we're just gonna waste that let's move this yeah yeah I know here put this guy like this okay there we go that looks a little bit better much better Let's pop this pack, these packs back in there. Okay, perfect. Okay, so back in operation, and this should be a little bit faster with these dudes. Man, it takes a lot of resources to build those research. Oh, all that. Um, oh crap! Look at that. It's completely full. So how are we going to fix that? Well. <coughs> I think what we need to do is build another chest. So we need a couple of these chests. I'm gonna put it right here. We're gonna actually no, we're gonna put it. Yeah, no, that's right. We'll put it there. We're gonna add another another power thing. Do like that, and what will happen is. Let's see here. Let's add power. Okay. So now what's gonna happen is they're connected. So. This is going to mine down, and the extra we'll have in this chest will transfer into this chest, I'm hoping so. And this is pretty much going as fast as it's going to go. But the, all this operation is basically personal operation and for this kind of research, this red research currently. But I think we're going to move all this stuff anyways because of what we're doing over on the left side there. So let's build some of these... Okay, I need to kind of check up on this stuff here. Okay, I don't think I have anything up here. No. Okay. We're tickling 
you that uh, <laughs> all those guys up there again. So we do that. Let us just give power to this guy. Okay, which will go into here. Which then we can transport over there. Uh, we should have some walls here. So let's carry on this this wall. So this should be okay. Good. Okay, I didn't check the time today. I should have. <laughs> so I'm gonna guesstimate it. Uh, let's see. So we're gonna continue this wall to the left, maybe. Let's zoom out a bit more. No, there's there's aliens there. Okay. Hmm. Maybe we don't need to do anything with this side of it. We got these turrets here. These will keep on me, so we'll just make sure that we outfit as much ammo as possible, maybe, into these guys. Let's see. So, on a shift left, right click, sh control left click. Okay. Um. Wow. Okay. So, we still need more ammo. Okay. So, we'll leave those there. Let's kind of work on these belts down here. See what I mean? ADD? <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. So, I came up with the idea of, of double belting this. Now, why double belting? Well, it kind of came to me to do this. Let's see. Let's build one of these. Maybe it's build two, potentially. Let's build a couple. Okay. So, now, basically, what, the, what these are going to be used for to combine all the the all the belts together so what I figured is there's gonna be a miner here yeah miner here and then a miner here and then I was gonna put another miner but down here for this area all right now, what are the exact positioning of it will be? I have no idea. Let's see here. If I position this here. So, I have this guy up here. So, actually. Okay, let's do this. So, we'll have a guy here. Then, that's not overlapping. So, then we want to go. Sorry, I'm just trying to think like that because... Like that. Okay, perfect. So that's where this one will be. And then the same will go down here. The same over here to mine this side. Just like that. And then this belt will basically go up this way. Let's see here. Okay. And we go straight this way and then we hook it in simple as that and then what this will do is this will all go into a double belt system which will then go straight this way now i also want to plan on putting a, a train station in here somewhere and what will happen with that i think the train station will be about here somewhere right about here in this area what that train station will be for is to receive incoming materials so all these belts are going to come up and then turn to the right and go this way Okay, and so what does that mean? Well, that means that then over here to the left of this area we'll have kind of a receiving station and then we'll stage that material to the appropriate belts. The, this deposit here, we're going to harvest the, these two deposits, but what's going to happen is I think we're going to have a central belt or like a central, maybe just need one belt to come in through initially this way. But then it's going to turn into a double belt up in here somewhere. And then it's going to head towards the right. But I'm not sure exactly where. Maybe I want to bring up the material all the way up here and then bring it to the right this way. Smelt it and then... Oh yeah, we need to smelt this stuff. Shoot. So maybe we'll have a double path from the iron up to here and it will start the smelting. So, do we have electrical smelters yet? 
No, no, no. Okay, so after bullet shooting speed... Okay, so we need to set this area up. So I'm going to dismantle the other area, I believe, here. Let's take a quick peek. Let's grab, let's grab all of this stuff. Okay. Let's grab all of this stuff too. Okay. So that's the point of harvesting that. Run down over here. Just gonna pop a stack in there. Then I'm gonna pop a stack in there. And then we're gonna throw a couple like that. Um, we're gonna split this coal up in half because we need to grab more coal. Oh, actually, we're, we'll be okay. Okay, and then we need to put all this stuff in there. We can actually probably potentially pick this up. There's probably enough material here to last a while, so let's pick this up. Okay. Um, keep it like that. Okay, this is still doing its thing, which is going into here. So let's grab some more copper plates. We need to grab a bunch of these guys. These are still being made, so this is non-stop. These are still being made, that's non-stop. Okay, this will continue to be processed. This is basically just fuel for our systems, so leave those there. Yeah, I don't think we can dismantle much, can we? Because I want to change the research. I want to move it over there. Because if you look in here, right, you're going to see... I want to do this one. But we need green science packs. Okay, so what do we need to make green science packs? We need inserters and transport belts. Okay, transport belts are made via iron plates and iron gears. That's easy. The electronic circuit, that's where it gets tricky. So where do we get electronic circuits from? We need copper and iron. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay. We need to make more belts. <laughs> 5, 10, 15, 20. Uh, we need walls. Okay. Maybe what we can start doing with the walls up here... I know I was going to start building a wall, but then we stopped. So let's see, we're stone wall. Yeah, here we go. Like this. And we'll just proceed with this stone wall to the right. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's chop this tree down. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, let's bring this across and then up, just like that, there we go. Let's grab some fish here. The music kind of sounds weird on my, on my sound in my headset, I'm not sure if that's going to translate the same in the game. I'm not sure why it's doing that, but it is, it is, so it's just weird. Okay, um, there's another spot where we're going to put some more walls. Where was that? Around here somewhere. Let's see, I think we want to connect in from this part right here. I think. Because I don't think we can run across. I'm just kind of trying to run. Then if I can't, then we know it's fairly safe. Okay, so we need to build from there down. And we need more walls. <laughs> okay. Do we need, we're going to need some probably coal on us. We should be refilling furnaces. So let's just kind of vacuum some coal up from here. Okay. These furnaces are fed automatically. It's more of this furnace down here. Okay. And then these ones up here. Just want to make sure they're topped up completely full. Okay, and how's this going for wall pieces? Not bad. It's we're working on it. We're working on it. <laughs> uh, Three point eight thousand. Okay, that's. Oh yeah, we gotta put. We did put our stone away. Okay, it chewed it up. Um, we got this. This last. I still want to use this material up, 
but for now I just don't want the extra pollution so we're trying to kind of minimize that right so then we have these guys here how about these tanks down here how are they doing okay so they're they're getting up there performance might have to add more soon Let's see here Ooh, let's run up here. It's kind of bear with me for a quick second. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of lost, so don't mind me. <laughs> let's see here. So, because it all depends on what's going to happen with this stuff over here, with how I want the smelting to happen. So we need to make green science packs. So we need copper and iron. Okay, well, we'll still do that. Maybe I'll build the processing right here. And then same with the copper. I'll build the processing right, basically right here. We'll mine it, bring it in, and process it. So I'm thinking that now maybe the double belt can work. Kind of like a buffer system, right? And then we can bring it into one belt or screw that we can do like this okay let's put this in so that's gonna be connected so we're gonna have all four rows being compressed into two rows okay and then what we want to do is want to produce let's produce some of these smelt uh, these guys so we need some regular stone and I know there's those oil deposits there, which is fine, because I think by the time we get to that point, we'll be able to not have to worry about them. So we'll grab a stack of that. Well, yeah, we'll pick the stuff out as we go to the other side there. Okay. So let's build some of these. One, two, three, four, five. Let's build all of them. Let's build all ten, and I'll show you why. Because I want to build that many. <laughs> fairly simple and what all we're gonna do is we're gonna build them alongside this stuff so let's see here you can probably just start it right away like it probably doesn't matter so one two three a space I think that's enough spacing between so that okay I think this is enough space if not we'll have to redo it which is fine so basically we're gonna have these guys go up like so okay this will be the end we need to build more arms <laughs> okay so one two I'm thinking halfway through this we might want to put a splitter like so, so, or somewhere in here. I'm just kind of thinking where. And the reason we put a splitter in here, so that way it rebalances itself in here, because it'll kind of redistribute everything, I believe. I'm not sure. Maybe we'll give it a shot. Maybe we'll just try it without. And the bullet stuff finished, so it's good. And we can do the shotgun stuff next. Let's do the armor crafting. Okay, I think I was supposed to pick something else. Let's go back into that. This is just better assembly machines. Maybe let's do that instead, because we'll need that more. Because uh, these might not be able to build enough stuff. Two ingredients. So they need three ingredients. Yeah, okay, so that's what it is. We can kind of work towards that research, but we need ultimately the better... Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. So anyways, back to this. So what we're going to do is we're going to put these guys like this all the way down. Uh, we need more materials. So let's run over here, grab some stone. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I like the music, the ambiance. I might have said that in other episodes, but I don't know, it just... 
it has that feel to it, or it just makes you, it sucks you in, and just, you just want to continue playing it. It's hilarious. I don't know what it is. It's like, it's like this. I'm, I should be editing a Seven Days to Die video, but instead I'm playing this. And I know there's a few of you that actually watch all of these episodes, and you watch them all the way through, and I appreciate that, definitely, because that is awesome. Uh, let's see here. We've got more walls. So let's kind of carry on our wall defenses here. I'm not putting any turrets up. Oh, what's this for? What's that belt for? Maybe that's where I was going to put the wall. Maybe that's where we decided. Let's see. Let's see how close I am to... Oh, there's stone here. I was thinking over here instead. Okay, no, well, let's let's put this wall right here. Actually, I'm okay with that. Okay, chop that tree down. Let's pick up this piece over here. It looks like the darkness isn't as dark as it used to be either. Because I remember it, at night it was just way worse. What the hell? Okay, that's weird. It wasn't letting me place it there before. Oh yeah, okay, I guess we do have to, have to cut some of these trees. They just barely go into that zone. Huh. Okay, come on, let's chop some more trees down here. Okay, perfect. And yeah, so we almost got that wall down that way. Because I think regardless of how big the base gets, we'll be able to kind of work around those lakes. We can always relocate anyways if we have to. The map is getting larger because it's it's doing the scanning as expected. Okay, nice, nice. Oops, wrong key. Okay, let's see what we what this all has for us. So we got more bullets, which is good. Got my plates. Got more plates. Good. Now. Um, now there's a key that you can push on the chest to pick up all the items. I'm just not sure what that is. <laughs> so if someone is listening this far through, definitely please let me know. Because I don't mind you learning new stuff. Uh, that was finished. I figured that would be finished relatively quickly. So let us do... Looks like there's just that one thing left to do. And then we'll be able to rip up the research, move it. Yeah, I think, uh, uh, yeah, okay. So it's actually three things. So we'll do the better armor. Well, why not? It is using up these pods, so that's good. That's excellent, actually. Glad it's doing that. Uh, let's see here. Uh, what else do I have on me? Oh yeah, fuel. So let's make sure that these are topped up. That's kind of why I, I grabbed the fuel. Make sure this is topped up. Then I'm going to have to turn this again. <laughs> because, grab a stack, place a stack. So that way the wood could get in there. We'll have to remember to come back to that. So, as soon as all the red research is done, we're going to rip this all up. And we're going to relocate this to the new copper smelting area. So that's the plan. Okay. So we need some more of these. Some more of these. We need more iron plates. <laughs> and something's being... So that's probably the, those turrets there engaging. Which means that we have them positioned in a good spot. Um, oh yeah, we should have... No, we did pick up that stuff, so let's run back. While all this stuff is crafting, and... I think we're going to call the episode here pretty quick. So let's see here. So let's kind of set this up. Let's get this all done and set up, and... Kind of maybe bring power over here. Um, well, maybe we'll do power in the next episode. So we'll get this all set up at least for us. Just like this and then we can do this well we want to actually like that so we want the belt to go up one more seems like a waste but 
Aesthetically, I like it. <laughs> okay, and so now we need three more of these guys. So that we have an outgoing one matching. Now, we're going to do a little trick to this one. So the first three will be one way. The last two will be a different way. You'll see what I mean in a second here. We need to we need to build more. Let's see a couple of these guys. We need to check the turrets up top here. We'll do that on the way out. Let's see here. So these guys now will go up to the three. Okay. Then what will happen? So this will be put on the outside, right? Then what will happen is we have these guys going this way. Okay. I'm just thinking I want to put it to a double belt system. And so what is, oh, I might have, so what does that mean? That means I want to I think do this. And then start going into the double belt. Or, actually, we need to compress it into so so what we what do I mean by compression well I'll show you we need to do this and so this belt is here so it causes this belt to go straight and what's gonna wait I think I have the wrong side yeah it has to be this way it's like that so these, uh, these arms place on the outside of the belt. So these will come along, go up here, get put on the right side of the belt. The left side would be empty. These two will put on the left side. So technically, if I wanted this balanced, I should put two more up here. Maybe we'll do that for just, to, not for efficiency's sake, but for the sake of it looking good. So we'll do that in the next episode when we fire this baby up. So we'll build this similar pattern on this side here, which of course we need more belts. <laughs> so I'm going to actually run up, up up top here. We'll make one more pass. <laughs> okay, so that's 100. Perfect. 100. 100. 57. Okay, well... Okay, perfect. Where did it die? I don't see where it died. Well, hopefully they come straight down. Oh, that's done. Perfect. Yay. Now I think we can just do these guys now. So we'll do the shotgun shell damage. And we're going to run this way, pick up some stuff. See here. We want to build two more fur furnaces. So let's grab all the stone and let's craft two more furnaces while we have this stuff. So we should build tw uh, tw uh, so was it? So I'll have 10, 12. I think we'll have 12. So six on each side, right? So 5, 10, 11, 12. Okay. Let's control left click this stuff. 2.3. Well, this one's almost done. Good. That will reduce pollution. Run over here. These shouldn't be operating anymore. <laughs> shouldn't be. <laughs> okay, and so let us stick this stuff in here. See, it's not really... It's not fast enough. That needs like a faster inserter over here. We need like a fast inserter. Let's see what happens with that. Uh, we can deposit all of this stuff here. And it's all full. Make sure we got fuel in there. This stuff as well. Okay, perfect. No, it's moving along nicely. Okay, so got that. Got those. Let's grab some more iron. <laughs> Grab some more bullets. Okay, good. Bullets are plenty, which means that we'll be able to engage another assault on that base up there, which is nice. 
And then we'll work on this, and then we'll work on we'll work on these close proximity ones that we see. Looks like the radar isn't really. So there's other ones further spread out. So maybe the setting I picked isn't isn't good enough. Maybe we should pick more frequency of of the biter bases. Ah, huh, that'll be fine. It'll be less combat, so it'll be more of you know this kind of stuff, the factory stuff, which which I really really enjoy. Okay. And how's this coming along? Looks like the wood's already integrated in. So let's pop some of that. And there we go. Now it's functioning again. The miners up top will work again. How many walls did I grab? Did I grab any walls? Oh, let's grab all these walls here. And let's change this to a fast inserter. Just like that. Now both should be in operation. Yeah, see it's going to back it up. Beautiful. That's what we want to see. Yeah, it looks like they're both going after it. Perfect. Which means that this sh should produce walls a little bit faster. So we pretty much you doubled that output with that, that uh, with that one fast inserter. Okay. Sweet. So let's build that wall here quickly. Where are we? Oh, that, this wall is going to be removed. <laughs> Looks like we need to we need to get steel processing going. We need to get all this kind of. Oh, looks like I'm out of a tool. Okay, we need to do this. We need to make these repair packs. We need. There's so much that that needs to happen. Okay, so let's build this wall. That was fun. That that was kind of funky. Kind of lagged a bit on me there. Let's chop this tree down. Chop this tree down. Oh yes, man, I just love that. Just kind of watching the trees. They've really improved the graphics. Like, oh come on, really? Like, just watch this. The little particle effects, just how that all looks. The even the character looks good now up close. They even looks like they changed the character a tad. You know, everything like this. If you hit Alt, see all this stuff. Just how the gears work, and I know it's so cool. I've never really done that before. Just kind of watched the game and watched it up close. And, yeah, that's so cool. I pushed the Alt on there so I see what. What's what is like if you push the Alt key, you you toggle on this stuff on and off to see what's going on, and so yeah, that's kind of what I've done. Let's do that. Okay, let's run back over to the other side there. Hopefully, we can build a little more and then and then call it a day. Let's see here. Fuel check. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at it go. Look at it go. Nice. And so this should have more in it. Oh yeah, now we're producing those walls. Let's okay, before we run back over there, let's just finish off this chunk here. Cuz so I'll feel a lot safer with these walls in place. There we go. So those are cordoned off. Perfect run back over here looks like this stone is complete perfect that's what we wanted how much uh, we got lots of, of copper still <laughs> plenty of it so for what we have around us here I think we get more than enough okay so back to this operation so we built more of these guys so we're gonna put 12 on each side so one, two, two, three, I think. Might have to space these out after with the upgraded stuff, but I'm hoping we don't have to. <laughs> Let's build ten of these. Oh come on. See this is why we need all this stuff mass produced. This is a long vertical column, but I think this is the most 
that one would ever need here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think that's the most one would really ever need. But you never know. Let's see here. Let's, let's bring this up this way. Now I think this would be perfect. And then we can kind of swing it up this way, I think. Okay. Um, make some more of those. <laughs> We should have these arm guys. Yeah, okay, good. Uh, let's see. Put one, two like that. And like that. Okay. Let's put, let's put in the belts. And I think I think this is it. This is going to be our pattern for now. Now, these will change, these outside belts, because... Uh, oh, there we go. And then we need a splitter... There you go. So this is where we will have uh, iron plates. From this, all this operation, we need just a few more belts. Let's see here. Perfect. Okay. And I think, oh, no, I didn't want that. We need to do this. Which is the other way, actually. Because they'll be on the right-hand side, so we need to put it on the left-hand side. There you go. So it's a mirror of each other on both sides, and that will work. And let's start this on the way out here. Uh, this is the last re red research, and then we're going to relocate the research. So yeah, so thank you everybody for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed yourself in this episode. I know I certainly have. And I look forward to seeing you in the next Factorio one. Maybe there'll be seven days to, to die one next, but I know for sure I'll see you in the next Factorio one. So thank you and have a good day.